Hi everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles, and I have a new easy one page wonder for us today. So this is going to be um, a lot of fun to make. It is um, a little folder or folio because you can't have too many of those, right? Um, and it has um, pockets um, and a nice cute little belly band. So you're going to be able to make this folder it has the flap. So I guess that's one pocket, two, three pockets in a belly band with one piece of paper that is 10 inches by eight inches or eight by 10. And so I used a piece of a digital paper that I printed on eight and a half by 11 and then just cut it down to 10 inches by eight inches. If you don't have digitals, use a piece of scrapbook paper. Um, it'll work great. Just cut it down to those dimensions. I am using some of the new um, papers from my rosy pink uh, paper kit that's available on Etsy, but you can certainly use anything that you have. I love um, all the different shades of rose and pink, and I was um, crafting with some friends this week, and we were making a little mini journal and some snippet tape, and I had brought a bunch of my scraps, and my friend Bonte was so funny. She was like, you don't have any pink. There's like hardly any pink. So we were digging through, so when I was designing this kit, I was thinking about her and needing more pink in my life. So there you go. Um, all right, let's get started. On, we're going to do some scoring. So you need to either, you know, get out your ruler and measure and then use the straight edge or use your scoreboard if you have one. And we're going to start on the eight inch side and we are going to score at six inches. So this is going to be a, the little pockets and they'll be two inches. That'll be cute. All right. And then on the 10 inch side, you want to score at three and a quarter. And then what I do is I just flip it all the way around and I scored at three and a quarter again. There you go. And that's all your scoring. Let me put this away. And the first thing I do is I go ahead and fold on those score lines and make sure everything is as nice and as neat as I can get it. So make sure everything is lining up straight and don't go, it didn't go cattywampus um, <laughs> because of maybe a, a weird score or just not being careful. And then I'm also going to, it's hard to see those score lines, score it or fold it on this score line. This is gonna make the pockets. Now, just to make this a little bit easier, hopefully on camera for you guys to see, I'm gonna go ahead and ink along these score lines really quick. And that way, hopefully you're gonna be able to see what I'm doing when I, cause you do have to do um, a simple cut on here. So let's see if that's a little bit easier to see. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to cut out these, um, I guess, the, the paper that you folded. So go to a little bit to the right of the score line and go a little bit to the left. And you're just cutting out uh, that chunk right there. And this is going to make your folio fold up and get rid of some of that bulk and fold up nicely and neat. And make those pockets we're talking about. Okay. And then do the same thing with the other one. And actually on this one, go to the right of that score line. And you don't even have to futz with cutting it out because we're going to cut. <clears throat> Sorry. My voice is acting funny. This whole section out. We're cutting this whole section out. The one on the left. So you can just go ahead and cut it out. And we're going to use this piece. So set it aside so you'll have it in a little bit. So now you should have a piece of paper that looks like this. Okay. Then 
you, you will have to kind of decide which side of your paper you want to be the front and which side you want to be the inside, but you can fold it first and, and figure that out. Well, actually, I decided because it decided for me because of the left-hand side, so you will need to choose before you cut that section out in case you want yours to be different. So the outside of my folio is going to be these little fleur de lis. They're little tiny ones. And all you're going to do with this is you're going to have that pocket that is in the back panel. So just fold that one up. And then this one fold up the opposite way. If that made sense. So when you have your paper like this, fold the middle one up and the one on the right back. To the back and then we are going to on this front cover make this pocket and I didn't score this one because you can bring it all the way to the edge if you want to you can bring it back just a touch it's sort of up to you I brought mine back just a touch to help show that these are going to be pockets here now if you do yours like mine and put a eyelet instead of having a pocket that is super tall you basically end up with two little pockets which I'm okay with and I like and I like having that ribbon closure but you can skip the ribbon closure and then this would stay completely open I think that made sense so the first thing we're going to do is I am going to if you want to ink it's better to go ahead and ink uh, before you start gluing it just makes it a lot easier or at least on the for the pockets if you want ink where the pockets are so I'm gonna do that really fast it's always fun watching people ink on camera isn't it <laughs> but I do think the distress ink I'm a big fan of the distress ink and I think it looks nice and I can ink around the rest of the edges later when I'm off camera if I want to. So cute. Okay. So save that because we're going to use it in just a minute. So let's make this first pocket here. I'm going to just use my wet white glue and I'm going to add glue to the top and the bottom of this flap that we made. There you go. And like I said, right now, it's open all the way along. But you can see on my prototype, it's it's open, but it's really narrow right there. So I guess you could put a little teeny tiny something there. But you basically have those two nice little pockets. Now, to close up these pockets, you're going to do the same thing. So I want this one, um, the ink, or the glue. This is glue, not ink. <laughs> uh, on both sides to make a pocket and you could put a thumb notch in there or something like use your circle punch if you want to I'm just leaving mine plain today and um, just whatever mood you're in you can do that and now we're gonna make the belly band for on this panel and you could also just leave this plain if you wanted to or put some neutral paper there and have it be writing paper but we're gonna use this and make a belly band and I know it doesn't look like it can be a belly band, but it can. So first I'm gonna just trim off that, I don't know if you can see it, it's where it's inked, but that little bit of paper that was the fold, was the crease, I'm just trimming that off. And now I am just sort of folding this in half to see where the middle is, because I wanna just cut it in half and that saved me from measuring. And I'm gonna use my little tiny trimmer now I have two pieces that hopefully are the same width. Let's see what that ended up being. Right at, right under an inch wide. So that'll be a good size belly band for this size folio. And now all we're gonna do is piece these together to make the belly band. And then I put, you can put a, a circle, I put one of these little tag, this tag shape on mine to cover up the seam. If the seam doesn't bother you, it is mine leaving it there too. 
So I'm first gonna ink my belly band. And a lot of times when we make these, we just have a strip of paper that's the right height. But since I wanted to use every little scrap I had, I'm gonna do it this way. So I'm gonna, oh, and you can decide which, which, which side of the paper you wanna use too. I'm gonna use this one and then do something that's a contrast. I like this side, but for whatever reason, that just sort of, I, I, I just started going with this direction, so that's what we're gonna do. I kinda like this little pattern on the edge. I think it's cute, and it'll be cute for the belly band. There we go, and it'll make it stand out a little bit. So for this one, Mine aren't exactly perfect, but again, that's okay. I'm gonna add glue just so that it'll really hold this down well. And I put it on the piece already glued down just to make it a little bit easier. And just line it up nice and neat. And again, you can see where I didn't cut mine exactly perfect, but when we add something here, you're not gonna notice that. Hopefully. And if you are, you can trim yours up before you glue it down. So I have some of the, I've made some of the tags and didn't use them all in that folio, but I have some of the little pieces of ephemera that came in this kit. But again, use whatever you have. Now that's cute, isn't it? And it'll need maybe a word or a little something else with it, but we'll go ahead and glue that down. I'm just going for it. And I'm going to add glue here. And bringing it up just a touch so that it's more centered. Now, doesn't that look cute? I love it. Now, you do want to be careful and make sure that you don't let your glue ooze out and close up your belly band. And all that's left now is the super fun part of decorating it. So, I'll spend a few minutes and decorate with you guys. I uh, will go ahead and we'll put the eyelid on too and pick out a piece of ribbon. Um, I have been putting all the little leftover pieces as I've been working with this kit. And the cute little ephemera box that I made, um, and I have a little video of how to fold that box up to you if you're interested. And I have, um, I was also gonna mention if you do like this paper and you want a little sample to see if you like some of the colors, I do have a freebie sheet on Buy Me A Coffee. So I will link that for you in the description in case you haven't gotten that and would like to have it. And all of my freebies are on there as well. Okay, so I do want my ribbon closure to be centered. So I'm gonna see where the, this is six inches tall. So mark it at three inches so that I get my eyelet in the right place, put a little dot. And I came in because I'm using this big eyelet and that will work. I could even come a little, a little bit closer. So I'm gonna just use my crocodile. There we go. And um, this is the big bite crocodile. I've been telling you the woes about my handheld crocodile. I'm still upset about it but I haven't decided that it's worth spending the money since I have this one. And I also have my silent setter, my old one. Um, for some of the smaller eyelids, it works really well anyway, so. All right, and for this ribbon closure, I think I'm gonna use this brighter pink this time. I've gotta find the end. Uh, I do a really simple just a really simple tie here. Put put part of the ribbon through and enough approximately, I'll give you the measurement on how long this is here in just a second, but I just, I do just a little tie like that and then bring it around before I cut it and figure out how long I need it to be. And once I cut mine, I'll pull it back off and measure it for you guys so you get a sense of how long my piece of ribbon is. Isn't that cute? Okay. 
so I think it looks nice, but it doesn't use a, a lot of ribbing because I didn't go around a bunch of times and it's just a little loop there. Um, so you can take it off if you change your mind. Let's see how long is my ribbon. Now this is crinkly ribbon and if I don't pull it out to taut, I'd say that's 19 inches. Now, if I really stretch it out, we're at probably 22 inches, <laughs> but it, it kind of crinkles up like that. So I'm gonna put it back on. So it was so cute. And if you're not sure how long you need to leave on this side for this half of the um, bow, Again, it's easy to adjust if you realize you're way off. So we'll see how I did eyeballing it. There we go. Because that piece has to wrap all the way around. And I do think I left mine a little too long. <laughs> so it worked perfectly when I first put it on there. Let's see. Again, this is sort of like watching somebody ink, isn't it? Watching somebody sit here and futz with their ribbon. Hopefully I got it this time. And I just love this seam binding crinkly ribbon. It makes me happy. I've been making it recently in all different colors. And I even did some like in this really pretty orange that I can't wait to use with some of my fall crafts coming up. I think it's gonna look gorgeous. Okay, so now that we have the closure, and of course you could also just do that at the end, but I wanted to see what it was gonna look like. I'm gonna pull out some of the pieces I've already cut out from this kit, and I might even, some of the tags that I have not yet made, in, made into tags like this, I may even um, cut some of these flowers out to decorate with. I think that would be really pretty in this circle. Let's see what that looks like. I'll sacrifice it, even though I'd already cut the tag out. <laughs> okay, oh yeah, I like that. And I could have done something with a little more contrast. One of the other flowers probably would have had more contrast, but I like it. And since I've already cut it out, we'll put it on there. Okay, and see just that little bit really starts making it look nice. And when I'm decorating this, this page and pocket, I do try to look back at the front to see what it's going to look like before I start layering too many things on here. Oh, I think that'll look cute. So we'll add this oval. It was part of just a vintage label made into a little oval piece for the kit. Let's see. And I do think this is one you could do, again, as a mass make because they come together so quickly. So if you wanted to just really quickly build up your stash, you could have a bunch of these folded in no time. Okay, I like that. And then for this pocket, I definitely want something. I saw a piece of torn paper. I'm thinking I may use this. Let's ink it up a little bit. So you can even make your own out of little pieces of the paper uh, and really start making it look cute. And this kind of gives the idea of there's a belly band here and I've got um, a horizontal piece going this direction. But I'm just gluing it down. I could have made it a little tuck spot if I had wanted to. And let's pick maybe another flower. Maybe these roses. Why don't I just cut these out instead of punching them out? And we'll make this into a little fussy cut. And I like um, having the tag size of some of the flowers because I didn't do a bunch of fussy cuts, or I didn't do fussy cuts for this kit, but again, you can make it your own and think about how you can use the papers in different ways. Oh, I love that. I'm gonna leave it hanging over the pocket just a touch too. Very sweet. So I'm gonna be careful not to put glue at the top of those flowers so I don't accidentally glue my pocket closed. 
and just to make sure, stick a piece of paper under there. All right, we're good. Left it open. Now, I could keep going. I could add some labels. This one I put words and quotes on. But I'm going to stop there. Let's just, I'm going to take a couple of my tags that I've already put together. And well, I'm going to put this one over here because it's that same flower. And that way you can just kind of see, but it'll obviously hold a lot more. And um, it's really cute. I love how it came together and I'll have the bow. I was gonna show you real quick on this one when I made it, I didn't print my paper on both sides. And so I had some white panels and I just went through with other paper and layered it on there. And now that I'm thinking about it, it, it obviously takes more than one page if you do it that way or you could just leave the white. And I, I like having the one page and it's a little bit thinner this way. However, if you want one that feels a little sturdier, this would be the way to go because this is an extra piece of paper I layered on here and I layered an extra piece on this panel as well. This one didn't need it because I'd folded it over. You can see here though, that would have been a white strip. So I did, I did have a little strip of paper there too to decorate. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna make a video with this one. I just loved how it turned out. So, um, I decided to share it with you guys. I hope you like it too. If so, please give my video a thumbs up and leave me a comment if you haven't already. If you will subscribe, um, that way you won't miss out on any, any of my fun crafty videos. Oh, I didn't put anything in this pocket. Let's just stick a couple of little things in here just because we can. And they might hide down in there, but I know they're there and I can pull them out. This one will hang out just a touch for us. Okay. All right. I hope you guys, until next time, have a great day. And um, until next time, have a good one.